The John F. Kennedy assassination records are supposed to be released today. President Trump had tweeted earlier that the information was available at the JFK Assassinations Records website, which is archives.gov slash research slash JFK slash 2017. If you want to do the research yourself, I'm going to leave the links in the video description box. I would definitely recommend it. There's a ton of information there already that was just released back in July. Also, I want to let you know that this podcast was brought to you by Virtual Shield. It is the best VPN in the industry, and they were designed from the ground up for your protection, for your information security. If you want to protect your family's information on the web, your information on the web, I would definitely look into it. Right now, they're offering a free trial for 30 days, and if you click the link, there's a 20% discount. It's cheap. It's efficient. It works. If you don't want to share all your information with every website you visit, I would definitely look into it. All right. Now, let me share with you the files and the information and the website you can go to to get access to hundreds of thousands of files that are connected with CIA, FBI, a multitude of alphabet agencies, a ton of information here. And isn't it also interesting that President Trump released this information previously and is supposed to be releasing it today even more so, especially when you think about all of the threats that he has probably had. So this might behoove him, this might benefit him to do this, to clear the air. So if the culprits were really secret factions, bring that to light. So if something might happen to him, then people would have an idea on maybe there are shadow factions behind the scenes controlling and manipulating the structures already in place. So let me share this file with you right now. Or it's a mo it's thousands of files, but this is the website, JFK Assassination Records 2017, additional documents release. You scroll down and you can get access to the list. You click the list, it'll pull up each page and reference number and what it's about. And then you can download the actual zip, the, f the documents themselves. There's tons of them. Tons of them. You can see this was released July 2017. So a lot of people didn't even know about that. Tons and tons of information. Now, let me share with you this. This is the list, one of the lists, downloaded directly from that site that will give you a file name, the document ID, the record number, the actual agency connected, the file number, the document date, the originator, like you can see here at the top. Okay, well, you've got the FBI involved. You've also got MI5. The originator was MI5 the document type, the review date. You can see this was reviewed in May 23rd, 2017. I've even got audio files that were released as well. You scroll down, CIA, DOS, FBI, a ton of very sensitive information at the time, now available for you in PDF format. You can cross-reference it so you can see the document number. You can see what, kind of get an idea a little bit about the document and who released it. You can see the names that are linked to it as well. And then what you can do is you can actually read the documents. So these are the documents, 372 documents just in this one part out of four recently released. Now, even though this is at one time secret, it is now available. And a lot of it doesn't make sense unless you really dive deep into it because there's just so much data and so much information. But a lot of these that I've just gone through for a moment um, are linking Cuba and Mexico to operations. Very interesting. I would definitely look into it more if you're interested in this, and especially if this is more of your timeline. If you were a kid or an adult or a teenager or an infant, if you were alive at the time, if you remember, I should say, I mean, I don't know if you would remember as an infant, but if you remember when this happened, I'm sure it had a huge impact on you, just like 9-11. This is a great network of information all on one website that if you have a starting point, you know, you can start collecting data. It's just going to be so much, it's going to be so time consuming. I mean, this one's from London. Look at this. We just look at it. This one's from London.
talking about Cuban exile and a revolution. Military training, exile groups. <laughs> Hello. Routing and record sheets. There's a lot of receipts and money trails here. And here's another, the subject of this, the subject of this report is linking a 29-year-old Cuban defector from Fidel Castro's revolutionary organization. A lot of stuff from Cuba. So there you have it. I just wanted to get quick and to the point. I could spend hours with you guys on these files. It'll be just as interesting, if not more, for you to do it. Also, check back in about half an hour. I'm going to have Clint Richardson on the show. This guy is a plethora of knowledge when it comes to straw man type stuff. Very interesting to listen to. I am not very well schooled in that type of research, so it's going to be interesting to hear what he has to say because he is very knowledgeable. He's written books on it. He's actually given out for free. He used to be in the video game industry, made tons of money, tons of money, very talented, and he actually quit that because he saw the side effects that it had and the implications of people's minds when it comes to violent video games and the way that it kind of tweaks their, their head sometimes. So he got out of it, totally different person now. Great guy. It's going to be interesting to see what he has to say. Check back soon, live, youtube.com slash clandestine time lord. Also, definitely check out that VPN if you want to keep your data and information safe and private if you don't want to share it with every website you visit. Uh, once again, there's a 20% discount. They're offering the first 30 days free. It's definitely worth checking out. What do you have to lose? It's called Virtual Shield. I'll leave the link in the video description box. Have a beautiful day. Question everything. Be the change you want to see.